challenging, confronting, loving, uh, scary at times. Did I say loving? It is wonderful. Okay, this is what it means to be a grandmother. Lots of kids, hundreds and thousands on bread and butter. Yes. Noisy little boys. <laughs> For me, to be a grandmother is to be a link in the chain of love and responsibility that binds the generations. Here I am in 1949 with my beloved grandmother, and here I am 70 years later with my little granddaughter, Helena Joy. Being a grandmother is delightful, exhausting, awesome, exciting, funny, interesting, irritating, um, distracting, and the best thing in my life. If it happens to you, you're bloody lucky. Being a grandmother means having six more people to worry about, but also six people to forge intimate and quirky relationships with. It means learning to play again. And in the last few months, I've learned about Minecraft and TikTok dancing and unicorns, of course, and the mysteries of Harry Houdini. So, in other words, it's about warmth and fun and magic. Is it a rock? A rock? A rock? What I wanted to show with this is the enchantment of, being, of grandmothering and how she enables me to be silly and to be joyful and also how this was a complete surprise. Hey, Grandma, describe what it means to you to be a grandma. Well, Olivia, it's... Pretty fabulous. Being a grandmother made me realise or made me remember the love I felt for my children when they were little and I'd forgotten that and it's come back with a great force and a great intensity which makes my life just perfect and it's without anxiety and without responsibility so it's the best love imaginable.